uh, I do get distracted sometimes, you know, if a girl takes her sneakers off or something. What size shoes you guys need? Ten and a half. I think a perfect evening would be work out with a girl, come home, and then let me take her sneakers off. Ready? Yeah, let's go. And then just be able to smell her feet. So if I'm doing really poorly, I might try and switch it up. Years ago, I wouldn't tell a girl. If you but now I look for a girl who's very open-minded. Because of having a fetish, that's something that to me is important. So do you have any other hobbies? Um, a couple. Do you like collect anything or? I do. Um, I have a few collections. Uh, one I'm, I'm really passionate about. I, I, I have a bunch of uh, like model fire trucks and stuff. Is there anything else that I should know about you? Um, nothing off the top of my head at the moment. I think most girls get a little freaked out about it because it is. It's, it's you know, a weird fetish. A lot of girls are like, you know, ew, no, that's gross. Slow improvements. Yeah. I can deal with some interesting characters as long as they're upfront and honest about it and aren't ashamed of themselves. I would like to get to the point where I'm just open up front and talk about things that I'm into. I thought that Mark was a really nice guy. He seems very kind. Better than the first one. And just all around good person. I'd say you're setting a high bar. I would definitely consider dating her again. Yeah, I had a good time. I had a really good time. Yeah, it was fun. She's everything that I look for. Thank you. I would see Mark again. <laughs>